It's Morning Becomes Eclectic at 89.9 KCRW. I'm Nick Harcourt, and through the magic of technology over at The Village, Michael Brook joins us. How are you, Michael? Very well, Nick. How are you? Good. Good morning. Welcome. You know, we tried to do this uh, a couple of months ago, didn't we, before the holidays, and then you had a little bit of an accident. You Tell us about that so that we can sort of bring everybody up to date. Well, I was bicycling in Griffith Park, as you do, on a yeah. paved road. Hit a bit of gravel, and uh, both uh, wheels lost contact at the same time. Yikes. And uh, then I woke up, and um, I'd broken a couple of ribs and a collarbone. That'll put you out of action for a while. Yes, it did. It did. <laughs> uh, there was a kind of a gurgly sound coming out of my shoulder for a while. Ooh. You're all healed now, I hope. Yes, remarkably so. Okay, yeah. well done. And uh, who do you have in the studio with you this morning? There's Julie Rogers, the band, on violin. And Lisa Germano on vocals, violin, keyboards, not guitar today. Well, welcome all. And uh, let's let's throw it over to you guys for a set. We'll come back and we'll chat uh, in a little while about the album and about the tour that's coming up. It actually kicks off. Well, you told me it kicked off this weekend at Sundance. There is a show that's going to be happening at Largo tomorrow night. We'll come back and talk some more with Michael Brook after we hear some music from The Village. It's Morning Becomes Eclectic.
Michael Brook on Morning Becomes Eclectic. It's 89.9 KCRW over at the Village Studios. A couple of songs to start us off with. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, let's talk about the record. We we obviously started off. Listen to me. I still call them records. I don't think there's even I do CDs too. anymore. Yeah. Um, let's, let's talk about the music um, that is featured on this CD. And as we mentioned at the beginning, sort of half jokingly, you, you were all set to go with the with the album. Um, there's another redundant term. And uh, out on tour as well, you had an accident. You had to sort of put things off for a while. Tell us, though, a little bit about prior to the accident and, and making this record. What did you set out to do this time around, Michael? Well, it, it kind of felt like uh, I had a rare opportunity to, within within limits, do almost whatever I wanted. So um, I just thought what would be the kind of the dream situation, and because like everybody else, I have my own recording set up now. And... Uh, so I thought, well, it would be nice to have uh, a Bulgarian choir. So um, Richard Evans, who co-produced the record, um, he, he plays in Peter Gabriel's band, and they had played in Bulgaria and made a contact there. And he said, well, well why don't we call up what's-his-name and let's head over. And so we did, and we recorded uh, choir and orchestra there. And it was a pretty amazing experience. Uh, and you did this in, in Bulgaria? Yes, in Sofia. So we actually had... Uh, the. I get confused with the Bulgarian singers because there's a couple of different choirs now, right? There was the, originally, there was the state choir when it was all, I guess, government-run, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Uh, and then that sort of broke up. Uh, who were the, well, and we had one of them on here a few years ago as well. It was really quite wonderful. I couldn't believe that they all smoked cigarettes, which was quite astounding. Oh, yeah. But uh, uh, who, was, who was the group that you, you connected with? Well, they're the uh, authentic one. No, no, they're not. Everybody claims to be the authentic one there. There's about 27 authentic Bulgarian choirs. Uh, they, th- this one is called the uh, Cosmic Voices, and they are really, really good. I mean, I don't know who were the, who were the first official ones, but they're very good. So obviously that's 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 a part of the sound. What else did you want to get into into the mix this time around? And as you said, you had the luxury because you were making the record yourself, uh, not for a record label at that time, right? Right. And uh, yeah, that's another thing that's very exciting um, is the the freedom to make all your own mistakes. And so uh, putting it out on uh, my label, Canadian Rational, and Hugo Verga's Big Helium. And um, uh, I I think. I was well. One thing I wanted to do is collaborate with lyricists, and um, I, I certainly had no ambitions in that area myself. But um, I thought there would be some interesting ideas I'd come across that would be uh, kind of cool to get into songs. So I worked with Lisa Germano and uh, Shira Myro, and um, it was a, that was a fantastic experience. And also working with um, a spoken word, I was very curious to explore that area something that you hadn't really done before yes yeah what do you think uh, at the the end of the day then having uh, explored that area now um where does that take you in the future musically do you think you will have uh songs in the future that will be more song based as opposed to the ambient um uh, instrumental soundscapes that you've been better known for um well i yeah i it's certainly an area that that intrigues me a lot um and uh, and also I, I really got to appreciate this the skill of a a good lyricist and songwriter. You know, it's uh, we we would do a first pass and then I would come in with some ideas or edit suggestions. And um, as soon as I touched the thing, it sort of fell apart. <laughs> so it gave me an increased appreciation for for that skill. Is the CD actually out now? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Rock paper scissors is um, what is just coming out. I think in April is. Uh, a, a kind of ambient reinterpretation of it done by James Hood called uh, Bell Curve. So the uh, different mixes, ambient mixes? Yeah, erratically different. I mean, he he basically took some tracks from Rock, Paper, Scissors and turned them into a whole album. It's really quite incredible. Well, a single piece. I'm happy to say that KCRW.com is sponsoring or presenting, I, I guess, your tour uh, across... Uh, we're, we're open to sponsorship. There's no, <laughs> yes, that's no problem. We're, we're not giving you any money. <laughs> but uh, but we're presenting the tour, which gives us the opportunity to tell people about it in uh, other markets, obviously, where perhaps radio stations wouldn't play the music, but where we have uh, listeners and a, a fan base for KCRW's music. Um, the first one is at Largo tomorrow night, which, of course, is right here in town. And before we wrap it up, I'm going to run off the list of the other places. I'll, I'll dig that up. 
But I'm going to throw it back to you guys very quickly to uh, finish up our set, and uh, we'll come back. We'll tell everybody where the rest of those tour dates are and give our listeners here in Los Angeles, of course, an opportunity to go see you at Lago tomorrow night, as well as an autographed copy of the Ambient Remix CD uh, called Bell Curve. So I'll throw it back to you guys in the studio, Michael Brook, with a couple of friends on Morning Becomes Eclectic. One very close friend, actually.
It's Mona Becomes Eclectic at KCRW and a live session over at the Village Studios this morning with Michael Brook and band. Thanks for coming in, guys. Uh, thank you very much. A total and, pleasure. Uh, good luck with uh, with the tour that's coming up. Let me find this because I know that they're swapping your mic over there, I hope, so we can actually hear you properly, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. There he you didn't go. hear everything I said. I didn't hear a thing that you said. No, we heard <clears> it. It just it, The sound quality could have been a little bit better, let's put mm. it that way. So as we right. wrapped it up, you sound good now. Thank you. <laughs> Um, as we wrap it up, I want to tell people about these show dates that are uh, that are coming up as well. So uh, let's do the giveaway very quickly. Tonight at Lago, we have five pairs of tickets for our subscribers to see Michael Brook at Lago tomorrow night. Excuse me. Tomorrow night, that is at 8 p.m. Our winners will also receive an autographed copy of the album Bell Curve. And if you've not won anything from us in the last 90 days, call us with your member number at 877-600-KCRW. That's 877-600-5279. Tickets and CDs available to our subscribers only. And it is, of course, first come, first served, 877-600-5279. And then you take off to San Francisco, right? Yep, the very next day. San Francisco is at the Great American Music Hall. And then sort of like a, a little uh, a little tour of home. St. James in Vancouver on Sunday the 28th. Toronto at Revival. Tuesday the 30th, La Tulipe in Montreal on Wednesday the 31st, Paradise Lounge in Boston Thursday the 1st, Joe's Pub in New York Friday the 2nd, Sonar in Baltimore on Monday, February 5th, and Shuba's in Chicago Wednesday the 7th. There's a date there as well, I think, in uh, Philadelphia that I don't have on this uh, piece of paper. But uh, is there a website where people can find out more information and perhaps get the CD? Yeah, um, they can look on my um, website, Michael Brook Music, and then there's, there's a link to a, a concert schedule. Great to have you on the program again, man. Uh, well, once again, I re- really appreciate everything KCRW for, does for the music community in general. It's a really great thing. Thank you so much, and uh, good luck with the, with the tour. We'll see you again soon. Take care.